bitch. I'm halfway through this pass. I'm you not backing out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, and this is all within seconds, right? I'm I'm thinking it's his choke versus my pass. Mm. And I'm like, my pass wins. And I just remember like the, having that thought and yeah. then going, oh, that choke's kind of tight. And then gone. I wake up. <laughs> and Gutenberg's standing over me. He's like, you okay, bro? And Jeremy's off to the side like, <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. And then I'm like, oh, oh the, the past didn't work. <laughs> oh, no. and Have you ever been choked unconscious? It can happen, BJJ, getting choked out. It's a thing. If you haven't been choked out, you're about to find out. Because both Joey and I have had our share of unconsciousness from choke time. It has been said. And I think it's actually, it's funny because if you haven't been choked out, there's a bit of fear. People are like, oh shit, oh. Like, will I get brain damage? Yeah. People always get worried about that. You actually probably get, what were we talking about? Uh, the, you were saying the study of CTE or whatever, like people get brain damage from head, heading a soccer ball? Apparently, yeah, apparently it's quite high, the prevalence. Right. From, yeah, the impact of heading a soccer ball. <laughs> How interesting. I know. Who knew? I'm a fucking soccer player, by the way. <laughs> so tough. So anyone out there that's talking <laughs> shit about it, you're right. <laughs> it's right me. <laughs> but I sprained my ankle real bad. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I think I copped more injuries playing soccer you than might have fucking jiu-jitsu. Field sports, running. Changing of direction at yeah. high speed, right? It's, it's, a, it's a motherfucker. Yeah, dog. But getting choked out is, I'll be honest, I have been choked out many a time. Not not. By choice. I mean, other than I, I chose not to tap and thought I could escape. Yeah. But that was just an error in judgment. I didn't say, hey, you should choke me out. It's I got choked out this week, bro. Oh, okay. Talk about it. I mean, Let's this go. This is where this came from, guys. I don't, yeah, damn, you know, right? It was pretty much at that point that I was like, shit's over. I'm fucking done. <laughs> Quit. Um, got to give a big shout out to my boy, Jeremy Martinez. Jeremy Martinez. Yeah. He's here in this. Yeah, he's a blue belt here at, at Jungle Botany. Trains in Jungle Jiu-Jitsu upstairs. Uh, JT gave him his blue belt. You I did. Nate, right? I did, and uh, he is a weapon. So it's Monday night. We're doing the um, Gutenberg Pejera Seminar. Very nice. Gutenberg's big uh, international competitor. We say yeah. top five? Heavyweight or heavy top ten? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even top, maybe even top three in the gi. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so he's, he's up there. Cool fucking guy. Great seminar. Uh, it was actually really nice because a small group, he came in, just taught us for like 90 minutes. Didn't try to cover too much, which I loved. And uh, anyway, he taught us this basic sort of, not basic, he taught us a more or less a smash pass or a leg weave pass from headquarters. Nice. And um, that was what we we're drilling all night. And so we looked at some different options sort of once you had initiated the pass, but it was all kind of that one position. Cool. And um, we got to rolling at the end, which was very cool, right? Because it was a small group. He's like, guys, let's, let's do some rounds. And he rolled with everyone, which, awesome. I, which I appreciate, you know. Um, and last round, I'm rolling with Jeremy, right? Mm. And I hit the pass on him and I'm like, all day, son. Gotcha. And, and we'd been drilling together. Like, we had a good vibe going that night. And Jeremy's like, oh, bro, like, fuck, good pressure. Like, you know, he was like hyping me up. I'm like, thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> and then, like, I do the pass and he's like, oh, and I can feel I'm like, I'm there. And I'm doing the thing and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to hit the technique du jour. <laughs> and uh, Gutenberg's got to be watching me. And uh, Jeremy just goes, nah, cross collar choke. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm doing, the, and he cross collar choke. And I'm like, ooh, cross collar choke. And then I'm like, bitch, I'm halfway through this pass. I'm you not backing out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, and this is all within seconds, right? I'm, I'm thinking it's his choke versus my pass. Mm. And I'm like, my pass wins. <laughs> And I just remember like the having that thought and yeah. then going, oh, that choke's kind of tight. And then gone. I wake up. <laughs> and Gutenberg's standing over me. He's like, you okay, bro? And Jeremy's off to the side like, <laughs> and, I'm like <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. And then I'm like, oh, oh the, the past didn't work. <laughs> oh, no. and, but bro, that, so I'm like, and I'm like, just give me a second, guys. I'm like, <laughs> okay, fine. I'm in the gym and I have this overwhelming feeling of like, I'm sure, tell me if you've had it, like anxiety was in there. Sure. There's, there is like this angst where you're like, oh, where what? the fuck am I? What's what, happening? What happened? Yeah, you know, orientation. Yeah. And yeah, disorient But then follows kind of elation. Yeah. Because then you're like, whoa, 
man, I just, it was like the best Wim Hof session I ever did. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Minus the ice bar. Yeah. And <laughs> Jeremy's sitting there. He felt bad. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, bro, don't. Good work. You're going to remember this day for the rest <laughs> of your life. <laughs> that one you time. You and me both. That one time. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Jeremy's a blue belt, right? So, like, I think I remember every tap that I got of, like, a brown or... I don't. I didn't tap any black belts, I don't think, at that stage. A but higher belt. Yeah, you f- remember putting that guy to sleep. Yeah. Um, anyway, it was amazing, but and it was also a chance for me just to go <laughs> like that fundamental thing, right? Like, yeah, yeah you got to defend the choke, bro. It like, doesn't matter what's happening, you the m- choke is important, you got to respect it. It's tough, I, I've got to say, and also shout out to Jeremy, he is the only person to choke me. He didn't choke me unconscious, but like tap me with a choke in five years. Like, I get tapped a lot of ways, like <laughs> leg locks, arm bars, whatever, but generally, I, I don't give up my neck. Even if somebody gets a guillotine or like to the back, like I just don't, I won't get caught like that. And about 18 months, it was probably not long after I gave Jeremy his blue belt. He caught me with this weird side guillotine. Like it was not, I didn't feel direct pressure on my uh, trachea, like my throat, but the side pressure was on. You're like, he's doing it And wrong. I'm like, I was like, nah, I'm, I'm good. Similar, like I'm passing, I'll be fine. And I was like passed. But he ha- had the position, and I don't know if I don't know what he did behind me to lock it up. But then he just came on. I was like, "Oh, oh, god, ah, <laughs> d- oh, god damn it!" And that's the thing. Like he's a handy guy, and you can't underestimate the belt doesn't reflect the time put in because I think Jeremy's trained for like five or six years. Like he's he's a tough guy and very smart. So here's the thing about getting choked out: you don't think it's going to happen. It's a denial thing. Like it's rare that you're getting choked and you're like. I'm getting choked. Because if you thought that was the case, you're like, oh, I'll just tap. Yeah. But being choked unconscious, you're like, I can get out of this. Yeah. I can get out of this. Out. Vision, like, I don't know if you had this before. I don't know. Like, I had a few experiences where I've been choked unconscious, eyes wide open, and just just couldn't function. Yeah. First time I ever got Von Flu choked. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, from side control. Like, I was like, I had the guillotine, and much bigger, stronger, black belt world champion, um, uh, uh, Liao. Lau from um, Alliance, big, big guy, uh, absolute world champion, beat Bushesha back in the day, like monster. He just knew he had the shoulder pressure and I was trying to guillotine him. I was, wasn't working and he just put the pressure on me and I didn't know that this was a thing. I was a blue belt and then I just started to go limp and I was like, my eyes were open and I was just. But you still had vision? Uh, yeah, I s- could you still remember? kind of see, but I was at like, wow, I was gone. And then I was just like, right, kind of dribble a bit. And then he was like, hey, man, hey, hey. And I was just like, Whoa. hey, gringo. And then, yeah, my arms like pins and needles. And I was like, Whoa. and he was like, dude, you went out. And I was like, no, I didn't. No, my eyes are open, bro. I'm, come on, keep rolling, keep rolling. Like a little bit of confusion, but trying to cover up. But uh, the other experience I've had is where your vision kind of, not tunnel vision, but it shrinks. Right. It's like the light's going out, like the darkness comes in. And you, it's like zooming in on uh, binoculars. Like it just gets narrower and then and then you don't know what happened. So the, the first time I got really publicly choked unconscious was actually at AET. There was a... Um, AET? AET is Australian elite team run by Ninos Damos. Uh, h- huge club. One of the best clubs in uh, Australia. And I went and did their like white belt challenge. And I had done a comp the day before and I think I got... Silver that day. At JT's Hangar. a purple belt at this stage. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I was just the, the, guys the frothy white belt, you know, and they're really good at triangles at, uh, at this gym. Anyway, in the final, I forget the gentleman's name, super staunch, strong unit. He decided he wasn't going to triangle me. He was going to cross choke me standing up and I didn't respect that. Disrespect. I was like, dude, you're not going to cross choke me standing up. And it was getting tighter and I was like, I was, I was like trying to like, break the grips but I, I was not respecting the choke at all and then i hit this point probably similarly where you're like oh hang on that's that's on like i need to get the fuck out of here but by that time it was kind of lights were fading and then the next minute i was walking around a shopping mall <laughs> in my head i was in chadston big shopping mall here in, uh, in australia and i was walking around with my partner at the time we were shopping and then the next minute i'm like why am I lying on my back at the mall? And everybody was standing around me and they picked my legs up and 
you, you may have seen this in videos where someone gets choked unconscious and they lift your legs to increase the blood flow to the brain and, and jog the legs. And everyone's standing quite close because they were concerned because apparently I was out for a little while. And then I ripped a mad fart, just like, and everyone went, whoa, hey. He's back. I was very relaxed. He's back <laughs> and I was like, oh, what, what, what happened? And then you got choked out, bro. And I was like, I just didn't understand what was going on for, for about 10 seconds. And I was like, oh, hey, that's okay, you know? Like, I was like. Yeah, the elation like, came. The elation came. I was like, that's just the game, isn't it? Like, I was just like, yeah. I don't. And people were like, aren't you embarrassed? Like, you got choked out standing up. In front of everyone, I was like, jujitsu, I'm right. I didn't shit myself. Yeah. We're good. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing. I think if you've never been choked out, there's a lot of fear. And it's not it's not actually that bad. Have yeah, you have you have you choked someone unconscious? Like have you been the deliverer of the unconsciousness? Yeah, yeah, I've done it a couple of times. Was couple it simply then not tapping or you didn't know or um, one was one that I can think of recently was a guy not tapping. Um, were you kind of checking on him? Like, dude, this is on. Like, what are you doing? Nah, because I was kind of just on the end of the choke. Right. And he was a big, big guy. And I was like, ki- I kind of had like a, it was kind of like a bow and arrow, but I was falling off it. Yeah. And I'm like just thumb and like index finger. Just barely holding yeah, on. Yeah. And he was, he was like posturing up, but on his knees. Ah. And as I was like hanging off the side of him and, um, and then, and he's like, bleh, bleh, and then he's up, and then he just, like a big giant, he just <laughs> face planted. And then I fell down, and I was like, I think that's it. And then, I let go. <laughs> and then, like, half a second, he's like, What's going on? We're good. And I was like, No, bro, I think he went out. And he's like, ah, I probably did. <laughs> <laughs> but the other one was, I'm trying to think, the other one I can, that I can remember was, was in competition, and I didn't know. I had an Ezekiel on a guy. Yeah. And I didn't realize he was trying to tap. I think I told this. He was trying to tap with his foot. Right. But I thought because his hands were both inside trying to defend the choke. Yeah. This is back at Blue Bells a long time ago. And um, I thought him ta- his foot on the ground was him trying to escape trying to bridge. Yeah. So I like punched it real hard. Yeah. And then um, and then he was out for a little bit. That's how and it referee goes. was like, bro. He was like, when the guy, because the guy's like, when the guy taps, you have to let go. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't know he was tapping, but I was like. Don't make me out to be the f- bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's because you are the bad guy, Joe. <laughs> People just don't know. Behind the charming exterior is the Australian psycho. Well, uh, maybe. But <laughs> so I have been um, thinking back right after this. I, I, well, w- we'll go into that momentarily. I was going to say we should talk about what happens when you get like the feelings and like, right? Sure. Because I, I'd i be lying if I said that I didn't walk away from that being like, I just got choked out by a blue belt. Mm. Like I, a part of me was like, yeah. What am I? Like yeah. I had an existential, mini ed- existential crisis. Yeah, it can happen. And I think that that's, like it's always going to happen. But you're like, damn, I thought those days were behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many ahead of us. <laughs> right? It's the, beauty, it's the beauty of the game. It's also like a reminder to, you know. Humble. Fucking respect the fundamentals yeah. of this thing, man. Like it doesn't matter if, if the thing comes, like if your neck is getting attacked. Wu Tang? Yeah. Wu Tang said you best protect your neck. But I had, um, I've been choked out four times. You can count on one hand. Four times, yeah. I need like five more hands. Like, I, that I've been, many? Yeah, bro. I just fight it. I'm like, no, I can get it. I just, it's, it's not an intelligent thing. It's just heat of the moment. I can get out. I know this isn't going to work. I'm going to. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. And I mean, you never tapped, right? If that, yeah, you know, no, like no, 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 that's true. Thing, like I did never tap. So like that's a fucking run on the board for JT. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's never a run. <laughs> I Look, you know, they say that for every second you can't remember, you lose a million brain cells. <laughs> I lost minutes. I don't know how many brain cells I got. I just Sudoku's though, so we're good. <laughs> Rebuild that shit at twice. Yeah, I just had just like coconut oil and fish oil. I'm good to go. No, it's, it's challenging, man, because like, I guess, like I said, of recently, even though I'm training less, I have been submitted through various means, but not getting choked. Like, if you get my back, it's pretty hard to get me. I've worked on that. Same thing. Um, in the gi, it doesn't matter. I'm not, I've become better at defending my neck. Mm. Doesn't mean I'm not getting submitted, just not via choke. Yeah. But w- that whole existential crisis of being choked out by a lower belt, I have had that. And um, I talked about it before, but it was a white, a four-stripe white belt, tough guy. 
I didn't respect him because also he's an arrogant prick. But it, it's true. I was same deal. I was passing, and he kind of had me in butterfly, and I'm like, I'm getting over this. But he put on the cross collar choke, but it was like one hand in and then one hand over, Ooh, which nice. is strong. Yeah, and he's a strong guy. And yeah, but I was like, no, no, no. Like same same process. My pass will beat this choke. And just as I'm passing, like... I'm putting everything just, on red. Yeah, just... <laughs> face plant. And, like, <laughs> so much shame thrown on me. I, I actually didn't feel embarrassed about it because I'm like, no, the guy's really good. But everyone's like, bro, you're a brown belt. You just got <laughs> choked out by a white... You fucking fell off, bro. Like, people weren't checking on my well-being. Well, or was that your internal dialogue? No, 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 no. I didn't have that internal people dialogue. People said that. Yeah, I had someone say, are you okay? I was like... <laughs> it, it didn't sound like... Oh man, how are you? Like, are, are you, you pulling okay, up? Bro? No, it's like, are you okay? Like, you just got choked out by a white belt. Like, what's going on? I was like, mm. I, I don't know. Just, I got caught. And they just, <laughs> I like, I guess I'll give the belt back. <laughs> they, just, they just walked <laughs> off on me. So, this is before I was a black belt. But I, I think the lesson I was like, yeah, anyone can get caught. And if someone's tough, you have to respect them. Like, you have, you can't. It can't be as simple as, oh, they're a white belt, I'm a brown belt, or I'm a black belt, they're a blue belt, whatever. Anyone has the ability to catch somebody and the choke must be respected. Yeah. It's it's the one thing that you can't... It's like a law of physics. Yeah. If the like, choke's on, the choke's on. Yeah, and, and, and it's, you can't... It doesn't matter how strong you are. It's not like some people who can eat damage, like a toe hold or an, an arm bar, where they let you tear the ligaments and they pull their arm out. Yeah. If you don't tap at the right time, then unconsciousness will come for you. So there's two things. Um, How many times do you think you've been choked out then? Like if tw you had to tw 25 times. Wow. At least. Wow. At least. Yeah. That I'll explains some shit. No, it doesn't. I had a lot of head trauma as a young child. That explains more. <laughs> 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 like I had a lot of head injuries. The only bone I've broken in my whole body is my skull. So yeah, there it is. Oh, one bone in my foot. But basically... Who knows how intelligent I could have been, Joe. <laughs> but let's not dwell on that. Yeah. Let's not dwell on that. Let's think about this, guys. If you haven't been choked out, I would say don't fear it. But also, if you're training, gi or no gi, and someone is choking you, you you've got to you recognize that this is as big a threat as it gets to you becoming unconscious. Now, for the best part, in jiu-jitsu, we're pretty um, sympathetic. But I don't know if any of you have seen those savage judo videos where you're watching the video and you can see the person's unconscious and the referee's just standing there. And the person on top is just cranking, cranking, cranking for like 30 seconds. You're like, they're out. They're lim He's already dead. Like, stop. And then the referee does nothing. Because the, 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 the ref doesn't know what's happening? Well, no, well sort like, of. Oh, I think but they're the, still... Yeah, and, but then they just don't care. They just stand there. They don't even lift the legs or like, are you okay? Person jumps up. Yeah, I choked him unconscious. Person is just lying there on the floor. At least Wait, in there's no celebrations in judo. There is. No one's jumping up. Yeah, yeah. Not but they're not Japanese. running off the mat. No, right. no, no. It's, no. People can s still celebrate a win for sure. They celebrate if they throw someone. I thought it was. I thought like you like maybe a very minor one, but it's no, no, no. But in no, like in like no, high level judo, like it's, a, it's a no, no. No, 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 no. It's you definitely see it. You're seeing it a lot more. And maybe that is like a, a, a Western influence. Yeah, right. But you're seeing guys being like, yeah, like it's a big win or whatever. But what I wanted to say is getting choked out is not uncommon. If you haven't seen it, don't be scared. But there can be a little bit of a guilt element if you do choke someone out, right? Where you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah. You know, like. Did, I, did I go too hard? Did yeah. I hold on for too long? I Did you, Jeremy? I mean, I think you did. <laughs> You're watching this, you're listening to this. Nah, Jeremy, it's respect. Uh, it perfect. It Do was the exact same thing to me next time. <laughs> no, it would never happen well, again. It won't be next time. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let's so hope Let's hope we're not back here on episode 300. Like, <laughs> so Jay Jer Martinez caught me again, again. guys. <laughs> 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 I think the thing is too, it is a really good learning experience. Um, I mean, look, if you've been, if you've had a real wild getting choked story, call in and let us know. We'd love to hear it. I'll tell you a good one. Please. I'll tell you a good one. This was, this, I got two. First was my uh, my sister. <laughs> I'm at I'm at home. I'm a I, I think I think I'm a blue belt, right? I love how this starts. We're in the kitchen, and uh, I'm like, Phoebe, you know, show me some jujitsu. Like, where's it at? You know, I like try and teach her some shit with my hand. She's my older sister, and um, my we're in the kitchen. My mum's there. My sister. We're sit. We're at a table. 
sister and I on this side, mum's on that side. So we get up and like Phoebe puts her long, like skinny little bony arms around my neck. And I'm like, okay, cool. Yep. So hand inside the elbow. Nice. Now, yep. Just line that elbow up. Like I'm just finessing it. And then I'm like, yeah, get her there. Cool. Now just give it a little squeeze. Yeah. Give it a little squeeze. That's it. That's it. I'll, I'll tap when it, and then I wake up and I'm looking, my sister's head is looking down at me <laughs> and her head's upside down. And she's kind of giggling nervously <laughs> in a bit of shock. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. And I, I look around and I'm lying on the floor. Wow. And my head's in her lap. She's oh like wow, cradling yeah. my head. And I kind of look over to the table and my mum is crying <laughs> because all, all my mum has seen is that my sister's applying this choke under my tuition. Yep. And then my eyes kind of flicker back and yep. then I pass out and go You're gone. And my sister is like, oh shit, lowers me into her lap. And they don't know what the fuck's going on. Mum thought she'd just watch her <laughs> baby boy get killed. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah. And I was like, and she's like, did I just choke you out? And I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Dude. Yeah, man. I think, man. It's sometimes, so here's another thing that can happen. If you choke somebody unconscious or if you have been choked unconscious is twitching. You see, like you see it. You might have seen it in a tournament even. If someone gets choked really hard, sometimes they can just go stiff. You see it sometimes in the UFC. If someone gets knocked out, they just kind of... Tombstone. Al almost like a rigor mortis. Like, which is kind of... That's frightening. But when someone starts twitching, it's that's very off-putting. Yeah, little convulsions. Yeah, I got slapped in the face. <laughs> it's probably calm. <laughs> I, um, I choked a guy. I had a similar bow and arrow choke. I was at Purple Belt in training, comp training. Guy was not tapping. Probably similar to you. Like I was losing my grip. Like I was really like, fuck, this guy should tap. I had his leg... I'm like, I'm fucking starring on this cat. And I was like, I put my hips in and he wasn't tapping. And then I didn't, it's not like I felt him relax. Next thing I know, an arm flies back and just fucking <laughs> like whaps me in the face and I let go. And bro, he's, he, he was having, it looked like a fit. Oh, wow. Like legs twitch and, 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 uh, <laughs> you're like, mother. Wants and to then go again. Uh, well, no, like, hey, you want some? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down elbow, just start socky GMP kicking. GMP that ass. Bro. <laughs> Is that a shirt now? <laughs> GMP that ass. Quote him. Um, no, Lockie looked over. This is at the old gym. And Lockie's like, what'd you do? And I'm like, uh, uh, we we're just rolling. Like, it was just like, you know, this is at um, South Yarra when we were in the small gym. And... Uh, and like he's like, all right, but uh, he he just slapped me in the face. So I actually had a full like backhand. So I was like, oh, kind of <laughs> feeling sorry for myself while dude is convulsing. And then like he's like, bro, lift his legs, like help him out. And I was like, control his legs. He was like flailing. But th that's the thing. I, I think we we had talked about this before about um, previously about if someone gets knocked out and they go limp, the fight's over. Maybe we talked about this, uh, you know, not on the podcast. But we're we'll saying say, yeah, when people well, I think we we're saying it in the last one with James, where it was like when someone goes limp, everyone like everyone wants to stop. Yeah, like, oh it's shit, like it's done. Yeah, you're not you, you're not you're not beating a dead horse, so to speak. And the the thing is, uh, it can be off putting, and a lot of us in our primal brains like shit. That's death. You see someone go limp, that's that someone is dead. But the general experience is not so bad. I, I would say, ha having been choked out many times. Actually, yeah, fine. it's not as bad as dying. <laughs> well, look, I have died. Um, having come back, look, Jesus would tell you. No, I yeah, think it's it's well, it is. I mean, there's a like that euphoria that comes. Mm. Like it's kind of. Um, I think it that I don't know why that happens, but I think it's a little bit of brain death. Yeah, but that's a very um like that ends on a high note. Yeah, you know, and it, it's kind of it's actually very similar to when I've done Wim Hof hardcore right. with people yeah. like bunch of rounds <laughs> yeah the hardcore breathing and the breathing. first time i did wim hof like i fucking went like Ooh. i basically went unconscious you know i was like and and i had all those same feelings bit anxieties in there and then elation and yeah so you come away from that and you're like oh that was actually like not bad at all but it's kind of your your recollection of it is tarnished by ending on a positive note it's yeah it's rose colored lenses is kind of just a disclaimer for folks, we are not suggesting that you go and do this. Don't. And we're also not saying that it's something that you need to do. No. In like you don't need to get choked unconscious. You shouldn't, like I made a mistake. It shouldn't yeah. have gotten to that point. No. But 
it's probably going to happen if you're doing it for at least a couple of years. And so, you know, whatever, like it's, well, you'll find out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I totally agree. I think it's not like it's a rite of passage, but if you train jujitsu long enough, you're probably going to get choked. Yeah. And, and it's not the worst, but that said, I have seen some pretty bad neck injuries from people not tapping on chokes. So the person's kind of cranked it. Next and then that's up. bulged disc or like, you know, uh, one one year, maybe it's 2011 or 2012, Alan or Alain Finfu, who's a check match guy, uh, got his black belt. Um, I think originally he was under um, Tedded Air back in the day, but he went under the Vieira brothers. Right. He got chopped in the neck. I can't remember by who. Like a f- <laughs> no, not not a judo chop. Uh. Judo chop. Uh, no, judo some, chop. S- someone someone went for a like a like not a flying armbar, but they threw the header and it rolled him back, and he was like kind of paralyzed. And he was on the mat for ages. They didn't move him, and he couldn't move. And I was like, holy shit, this guy's one of the most dynamic guys at at welterweight at that time. And f- did we just witness this guy go f- quadriplegic? It was frightening. Mm. And that's the thing. Most people out there don't spend any time conditioning their necks. It takes many years to get a good, strong neck. And not tapping doesn't just result in, oh, you go unconscious. It can result in spinal damage. Spinal. So you've got to be, you gotta be um, really careful about that. And I would say if I could choose to erase all my being choked unconscious and not experience it, I would. But it can happen. So we, I guess we say this as a, not a public service announcement, but it's kind of like, it's coming. Yeah. Potentially. It's coming. Yeah. Like it, it, you know, say w- what happened to me. I'm like, okay, I didn't respect the choke and I was being too kind of narrow minded about the technique I wanted to execute. That's a great piece of feedback. <laughs> okay. So Joey, next time let's respect the choke a bit more. And, you know, so I think, yeah, if it's happening to you repeatedly, then you're like, well, there's probably something I'm doing that's <laughs> like bringing me to this point. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, key takeaway, you've got to respect your opponent. It doesn't matter what belt they are, right? That's right. But hey, makes for great stories. (laughs) Story time. Thanks, fam. See you next time.